Hey gang, Krifmer here, and this is part one of how to create a game in Tabletopia. In this video, I'll take you through setting up your game page and starting the whole thing off. Making a game is a very easy process, and Tabletopia has a very good help section if you ever get stuck. We start off by going to the Games section. Scroll down and click on the big blue Create Game button. I'll take you down the left side first. Here we have your option to upload a cover image. This is the image that will be featured in the big list of games, so you want something nice and eye-catching. Next we have the banner image. This image will show up as the header of the game page. You don't need one, but it will make the page nicer. Below that, we have an option to upload images to the game's gallery. The gallery is the series of images that show up under the Join and Play button. It goes a long way toward giving players a feel for the game, looks, and what components it may have. If the game has great artwork, you absolutely want a few gallery images to show it off. At the bottom here, we have a section for links. And finally, a place to upload rules files in PDF format. You can upload multiple files, so if you have your rules translated into multiple languages, you don't have to upload one large file, you can split each language into its own file. On the right side, we have all the critical information for our game. Name, type, age range, playing time, and so on. This field is where you enter the name of your game. Below that is space for an alternate name. If your game was published in a different language, or a previous printing with a different name, that's where you would put it so players who know the game by that name can find it. The game's type, a classic, abstract, war game strategy, goes here. Right now you can select two different choices for those games that are a bit hard to define. Each game has its own unique URL. It will be automatically generated when you enter the game's name, but if you want to change it to something a bit more unique, you can do so here. If your game is listed on BoardGameGeek, you can enter the URL here, and Tabletopia will include a link on the game page that displays your game's BGG rating. If your game has been physically published, you can enter the ASIN here so people can find it out in the real world. Here is where you select the game's suggested age range. And here is where you select the game's estimated playing time. You may notice there's no field for number of players. That's determined when you define one or more setups for your game. Setups are the heart of the game creation system, and we'll get to that in part three. You can select a number of tags for your game from multiple categories. You can select multiple tags to help players find your game in Tabletopia's database. The game's description will show right under its name, in the middle of the game page. Our sample game for this tutorial will be very simple. Players roll a die and move along a spiral path, and the first one to the center wins. To spice it up a little, we'll add a deck of chance cards, and players draw one if they land on one of the marked spaces. So let's name our game. We'll call it something exciting and we give it an age range of 7 plus and a playing time of 10 to 20 minutes. Let's choose a few tags and see them in action. We can choose tags from multiple categories such as features, genre, setting, any awards that the game won, and what languages it's in. Let's tag it by game mechanic and scroll down to find Roll, Spin, and Move. As you can see, we can tag the game with multiple entries from the same category. Very helpful for complex games. We'll give it a brief description. Let's take a detour to look at the permissions you can assign. The first one is self-explanatory. Only you can see and play your game. Public means anyone can see and play your game. And Creative Common means that anyone can even duplicate the game and create their own using yours as a starting point. Before we publish, let's go add a cover image. Awesome. All set? 
Let's publish. Now that we have the game page set up, we need the objects that we'll be using in the game. I'll show you how to get them in part two.